So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This one right here is a follow up to that last one. And this one right here, I want to speak to how law enforcement would would find out, you know, uh, name suspects in the floater hit as well as how they would identify the whereabouts of Chulon who was dead and buried at the time. Um, Buddha. Carnal Buddha um, is the one who gave up that information and I would later run into him when he went MIA. He goes MIA around all this time. And, and it would be by chance that I would get a job through a temp agency and um, I would be working with them. And, you know, of course, he would ramble on a little too much because, mind you, RJ made him, so his loyalty was to RJ. So when, when the shit hit the fan and, and, and everybody turned on RJ as they did, he, he was spooked, he was shook. And um, so, you know, he would go on to give up what information he knew about all of it. Um, those that were there, no, it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be hard now to, to see through to that if they don't already know that, if it hasn't already come out. But... You know, there's no way of concealing these things about anyone involved in this. You know, you can't simply say a source in his case without questioning what details there are concerning that source and what that source said. And so those people that were responsible for these things know that. But I don't know. I only know what I've been told. That's it. But yeah, it was it was a real cutthroat, backstabbing, conniving. You know, this is the thing about it. What people need to understand, you know, like I was saying before in the last video, how you can't, you couldn't touch Floater because he wasn't a made member. That's understood. There's, there's way different politicking that was required before my generation comes into play and just, you know, starts politicking against each other. The politicking necessarily necessary prior to them was different. It's not until RJ gets sent out of state that the dynamic changes and everybody just literally starts pushing for the top because that's what it's about. Money and power. You know, everybody gets involved with it for the money and the power, ultimately. You know, the ulterior motives are, that's ulterior. The fact of the matter is it's about the money and the power, and some people get big-headed. And when it's about the money and the power, of course, and you're climbing to the top, you got to take out everybody on your way there. That's how it works. You know, be under no delusions about all this. There's no heroes, there's no idols, there's no honor, there's no glory in any of this. It's gory. It's bloodthirsty. It's backstabbing, it's betrayal. The snake eats its tail. But, you know, that's that's the that's the that's the brief on uh on Buddha and uh you know a little background on what happened with with floater I'm gonna leave you with that peace the mouth.